Emba AHB is a bus interface suitable for high-performance synthesizable designs. It defines the interface between components, such as masters, interconnects, and slaves. Emba AHB implements the features required for high-performance, high-clock frequency systems including Burst transfers Single clock edge operation Non-tri-state implementation Wide data bus configurations, 64, 128, 256, 512, and 1024 bits. The most common AHB slaves are internal memory devices, external memory interfaces, and high bandwidth peripherals. Although low bandwidth peripherals can be included as AHB slaves, for system performance reasons, they typically reside on the AMBA advanced peripheral bus. Bridging between the higher performance. AHB and APB is done using an AHB slave, known as an APB bridge. Figure shows a single master AHB system design with the AHB master and three AHB slaves. The bus interconnect logic consists of one address decoder and a slave to master multiplexer. The decoder monitors the address from the master so that the appropriate slave is selected and the multiplexer routes the corresponding slave output data back to the master. A master provides address and control information to initiate read and write operations. Figure shows a master interface. A slave responds to transfers initiated by masters in the system. The slave uses the HSELX select signal from the decoder to control when it responds to a bus transfer. The slave signals back to the master. The completion or extension of the bus transfer. The success or failure of the bus transfer. An interconnect component provides the connection between masters and slaves in a system. A multi-master system requires the use of an interconnect that provides arbitration and the routing of signals from different masters to the appropriate slaves. This routing is required for address, control, and write data signaling. The master starts a transfer by driving the address and control signals. These signals provide information about the address, direction, width of the transfer, and indicate if the transfer forms part of a burst. Transfers can be Single Incrementing bursts that do not wrap at address boundaries Wrapping bursts that wrap at particular address boundaries The write data bus moves data from the master to a slave, and the read data bus moves data from a slave to the master. Every transfer consists of Address phase 1 address and control cycle Data phase 1 or more cycles for the data a slave cannot request that the address phase is extended and therefore all slaves must be capable of sampling the address during this time. However, a slave can request that the master extends the data phase by using ready. This signal, when low, causes wait states to be inserted into the transfer and enables the slave to have extra time to provide or sample data. The slave uses RISP to indicate the success or failure of a transfer. So that's all for today I hope this video gives a better introduction about the ab interface and if you like this video please like share and subscribe. Thank you.